Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's haul is going to be from Dollar Tree. We actually went today, which is Mother's Day. I don't know if I will get this uploaded on Mother's Day or if it will come out the next day or the day after. But we ended up taking a little trip to another town that's like 30 minutes from us. And their Dollar Tree had some things that ours did not. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. In the like kitchen and food section, we picked up a pack of 100 bamboo skewers. Uh, these actually are not going to be used for food. We're going to be using them for some crafting videos that we are working on. Then uh, a couple of hauls ago from Dollar Tree, I had found this So Natural brand jasmine rice. And we went through one bag of it. I really, really liked it a lot. So we went ahead and picked up another bag. Um, and it is a one pound bag. And it is non-GMO and it says gluten free. It tastes really, really good. And it cooks just like regular white rice. Then I needed another little thing of vanilla extract. So I picked that up. And then... A pack of sponges. I always grab my sponges from Dollar Tree because it's like the cheapest place to get them. So you get a six pack for a dollar and it's got the little scrubber on one side. I use these whenever I'm doing dishes and for other just cleaning around the house. Then uh, moving on to sort of just the home wares part of it. I use uh, reusable face pads whenever I'm washing my face and taking my makeup off. And so they get put in the washing machine uh, to be cleaned. And right now I don't have anything to put them in. So they're like getting washed down in the bottom of the washer. So they had this Delicates wash bag. And it is mesh. And then it is supposed to have a little zipper on the front there to put your stuff in. So I picked that up so whenever it's time, like I've used up all of my reusable face pads, I'll just throw them all in this little bag and put them in the washer and then I'm not trying to pick through and find them all in the bottom of it. They'll all be in one place. So I grabbed that. I didn't think a dollar was bad. Then they had in sort of the bath and body area, uh, I know my grandmother needed some more deodorant. She uses Secret, so they had the little, like, miniatures of that for a buck. Pick that up. And then uh, false eyelashes. Uh, we picked up two of these. I think these are just the same style of lashes right here from the Sassy and Chic brand. So two of those. Where's that other thing of them? Oh, and then this one, which was LA Colors. Um, these ones we picked up. My daughter has been customizing like Barbie dolls and things. So uh, she's been picking up some of these little false lashes to use to put eyelashes onto them. So we grabbed those and these are dainty. It says number 975 Dramata Lash from LA Colors. Then they had uh, these little two packs of bandanas. I thought these ones were really, really pretty, this bright blue and orange. I don't know if I'll use these for any kind of craft project. I was thinking more like uh, they would be really cute, like whenever you tie your hair up in the summertime, like in a ponytail and put a little scarf around it. So I don't know what we will use these for exactly, but I really, really liked the pattern on this one. Then they had this really pretty bright yellow and floral. Again, a two pack for a dollar, so 50 cents a piece for bandanas. Then uh, their book section at this store was really lacking. They didn't have hardly anything, but I did find two books that I really, really liked. So this first one retailed for $24.95 in the US originally. This is called The Mighty Gastropolis Portland. This is what the cover of it looks like. So when you flip through, they will give an overview of different restaurants that are around Portland. And then they give you 
all kinds of recipes in here. So I thought that was really good. I'm always looking for new cookbooks. And then the next one is this little bitty book here. And this is called the Food Spotting Field Guide. It originally retailed for $12.95 in the US. And this one is to carry with you, like if you go on vacation somewhere or just around your own town. And so they give you different dishes. And the goal is for you to find a restaurant, whether you're traveling, like this one is uh, Smorobrud from Denmark. Um, so if you found a restaurant that served us, it would have to be like a Scandinavian restaurant. Or if you ever visited Scandinavia, you would take this little book with you. And then you just kind of check off all of the dishes that you have tried. And then over here, you give like your own personal rating, like what you thought of the dish. I thought that was really cool. I think it's a good way to kind of get yourself out of a rut of always visiting the same restaurants or always getting the same exact dish every single time because I'm really bad about that. I always say I'm going to try something different and then I don't. Uh, like there's scotch eggs. And then they also have some more uh, exotic dishes too. Uh, this would be good to do if you live in a big city or if you're visiting a big city like we live in a large city and we have all kinds of restaurants with like an Indian restaurant. I think we have a Brazilian restaurant. We have Japanese restaurants. So that's a really good way to be adventurous and get yourself out of your comfort zone food wise. Just picked up one of those and then they had uh, our store did not have these. We had like bags of bath bombs but not the uh, shower fizzies. So these are from Spa Naturals and it's supposed to be aromatherapy. You get four in a pack and I've not opened them but they feel like little discs in there. Uh, they are eucalyptus and spearmint. I'm gonna open them and see what they smell like real quick. Yeah, so it's like a little disc that you put down in the bottom of the shower and let the water run on it. Oh, they smell good. They smell like uh, chewing gum. I don't know if I'm picking up the eucalyptus, but I can definitely smell the spearmint. That would be really good for right now. Like if you've got allergies, I have seasonal allergies really, really bad. And my nose gets so stuffy whenever I go outside. I'm going to put that in my shower whenever I've done like yard work and stuff and see if it'll help open up my sinuses a little bit. So those smell really good. If you're into the aromatherapy thing or you've been looking for these, check your Dollar Tree. You get four for a buck. Makes them like a quarter a piece. So I think that was all in like the little bath and body kind of section from there. In the uh, Crafters Square area, we made a haul. This store had quite a bit of stuff. I'm trying to get it all together here. So first were these little miniature glass containers, like actually glass, not plastic, but glass. I don't know if you can hear on camera, but you can hear them clinking together. So this is a set of four tall, kind of look like uh, mason jars but they're like elongated. So four of those, then in a five piece, they look like just little miniature regular canning jars or something. I thought those were really, really cute. Those would be nice for like doing fairy gardens and some other things that we're gonna have coming up. So those ones are in a five piece. Then uh, these were a six piece and these are like the same height as those tall mason jars I showed you. Oh, we've got something fuzzy stuck on them. But um, this is six pieces of little corked bottles. And those also, again, are glass. And then again, glass, they have little miniatures of those corked bottles. Like, I mean, miniature, miniature. They're like the size of the tip of my finger. <laughs> miniature those I thought would be really really cute like for making pendants for necklaces 
or maybe some little uh, earrings or something. I don't know, but we picked those up. Then they had these cute little uh, faux moss stones for making like little landscapes and things. You get 10 of those for a dollar. So we picked up two of those. Then they have two pound bags of decorative stones. I don't know if you're going to be able to see through the mesh very well, but these are just like natural colors like browns and tans and blacks. So we picked up three of those and they are nice and heavy. Then they had these really cute chalkboard uh, tags. And they have little like strings that you tie them on. I think these would be really, really cute. Like if you're going to uh, go through your linen closet or something, closet, linen closet, and organize. <laughs> if you use like wicker baskets to put your towels in and then you could tie like a little chalkboard tag on it and label it, I think that would look really, really nice. So we picked up some of those. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with them yet. Then this little three piece set of palette knives for painting. They're just little plastic palette knives. My daughter is really into painting lately, so we're trying to get her a little stockpile built up of things. So then they had a stretched canvas. These are eight by 10 canvases. Picked up two of those for her. And then hit the jackpot on paint. So they had acrylic paint and tempera paint in these uh, three fluid ounce uh, little tubes. We picked up the tempera paint and I got it in this really pretty like robin's egg blue. Then they had just black, a white because it's always good to have your basic colors. Then they have these really bright colors. They have a bright blue, kind of looks purple on camera, but it's more like a royal blue, a like neon pink. It's almost like fluorescent looking. The lighting is not doing it justice in here, but it's like put your eye out kind of neon pink. And then a neon orange, which is really, really pretty. And then they have this really bright sort of a neon like fuchsia color. It's like a purplish pink. Then they had glitter colors. So they had this, uh, I think it's supposed to be red. It kind of almost looks burnt orange. But they had that one. Then they had a green, a gold. And then they had the really uh, like dark purple. I think this one's probably my favorite. Then uh, we had hauled these, maybe not the last time, but the time before that. And they were these fashion gems for use on footwear, tech accessories, sunglasses, and more, it says. So they look like little rhinestone kind of things. And they come with glue to put them on. And this time they ended up having little pearls also. Just little miniature tiny pearls that come with the glue. Someone had asked in the comments on that last haul when we got these to uh, do like a review and let everyone know how they work. So we are going to make a video using these and show you guys uh, whether or not they're worth the dollar. I think even if the glue doesn't work well, just to be able to maybe uh, use them on like scrapbooking projects like gift card or gift cards, greeting cards, or scrapbook pages or around picture frames or something would be good. But we are going to try them on what they suggest. So we're gonna get like maybe some tote bags or something and try that out. Then uh, I've been learning how to knit and crochet. 
So this store had a lot of different colors of yarn that ours did not. So this is Premier. It says just yarn. It is worsted yarn. It is number four, 131 yards. And they had this uh, like a teal color here. Then they had more of like a dusty blue kind of color. Then they had a uh, tan. A mint green. They had this kind of dusty rose color. Get a hold of them here. They had a purple and then like a baby yellow. So I picked up one of each of those to practice with. It's really good for a dollar for some yarn, especially if you're just learning, it's a good deal. Then they had this gross grain ribbon, three yards on here. It is like a robin's egg blue with gold, uh, I don't know if you'd call that a chevron pattern or just little arrows, but they're like a metallic gold. So we picked that up. Then they had these little uh, like paper boxes that we picked up to do some stuff with for around the house. So we got one of the little round ones and then two of the square ones. And that's what the inside looks like. Then they had, uh, we've been looking for these. I've seen some other people haul these and I've not been able to find them at any of our local stores, but they did have these at the one today that we went to. It's a four by six photo frame and it is the little wooden house shape. We picked up four of these to do some craft projects with. And then uh, my daughter found this like a bubblegum pink color from LA Colors Color Craze. It's number 505. So she's got that to do a little mani pedi later. And then she found some little toys. So they have just little plastic ponies that come with a little comb for their hair. So she picked up a little black one, a brown one here, and then a little gray one. These are really cute. Um, I, they're probably a little bit too big for a dollhouse. But if you have girls that have like American Girl dolls or like Target carries our, is it our generation yeah. that's at Target and then Walmart has their own line that's my like life my has. life as, these are like the perfect size for those and they're way cheaper than buying the actual name brands of them. But they have this cute little steamer iron and these are battery operated. Can I take the thing off? All right. I'm going to pull the little battery thing out and see what this does here. It's got... A little dial so it looks like you're setting it and it does actually turn and then it has this little button on the handle so it sounds like it's actually releasing steam It's still going to town. And then I had this little hand vacuum, which is so cute. I remember when I was little, my grandma had one of these really old hand vacuums, but it actually makes the vacuum sound. So there's that. It's going to be annoying in the background now, but I thought those were really cute. And for a dollar from Dollar Tree and to get something that's battery operated was really good. So then, uh, they have little just plastic animals. I don't know if she's just using these to play with or if she's going to craft something with them, but they have this little lizard. I'm not sure what kind it is. It doesn't say. And then they have uh, this, which I think is a chameleon. 
So she picked up those. Uh, they had some Peppa Pig toys in. So if you have a child who is a Peppa Pig fanatic, I think this is Georgie, isn't it? George. Okay, so that's George. And then they had a little, uh, our Dollar Tree had the Hot Wheels ramps and little loop-de-loop -loop things. So we've been collecting some little Hot Wheels cars for her to play with on that. This one was really cute. It's not a Hot Wheels brand. It's just Dollar Tree's brand, but it is a little pickup truck and a pull behind camper. So I thought that was really cute. And I mean, you're basically getting two cars for a dollar. Then they had these little dollhouse sets. So this was really, really cute. You get the little house that they go in. It tells you on the back here. A house, a bed, a couch, two chairs, one TV stand, one table, one cabinet, and two little dolls is what's included in there for a dollar. I mean, it's nothing super duper fancy. Well, that's enough to keep a kid entertained for a couple of hours. So they had that little pink and purple house, and then they had a little white and pink house that has purple furniture. So she picked up one of each of they those. They snap together, too. Yeah, and these are supposed to be able to snap together and then fold up like a little uh case, I guess. And then they had um, just these little dolls that she's been customizing and repainting and doing stuff to. So she picked one of those up. And then we found um, two uh, little things of school glue that we picked up. And then this little bottle. Um, I think this was in the floral section. It's this cute little glass bottle of shells with a cork in it. So that will be used for some kind of little craft project. Up by the front doors, they had all of these little soaps sitting and I thought they were super duper cute just for the container. They are little unicorn soaps. Now like obviously I don't decorate my house in unicorns, but we will sit these around and use up all the soap in them. And then I thought these would be really cute for craft projects once they're emptied. Like if you've ever done sand art or anything, this would be a really cute container to put some sand art in and then just seal off the top of it. So they had purple, which is blueberry scented. And it smells really, really good. We did smell these before I started this haul. Then they had pink, which is watermelon. And this one smells just like those little red watermelon candies that you get those little hard candies, you know? And then they had uh, the blue is supposed to be cotton candy. To me, it smells more like a blue raspberry than a cotton candy, but it still smells really, really good. But it smells like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher to me, but still really, really good. Then they had like a mint green or maybe like a teal color, I guess. And this one is green apple and it smells just like those green uh, caramel apple suckers that used to get like at Halloween time, you know, where it's green, it's got like a smear of caramel on it. That's exactly what this one smells like. And then this one was not up front with the rest of them. So I think it's uh, by a different brand and the tag looks different too. This one was down the regular like bath and body aisle and it is glittery. So it's a brighter green and it has glitter all through the soap and then the little horn is glittery. And this one is supposed to be fresh pear scented, but when I smelled it, it smelled more like a cucumber melon scent to me. I did check the tag and they, um, this one is by, let's see, by Best Accessory. And then that one's by Greenbrier. Okay, so this one is by Greenbrier, which I think is just Dollar Tree's regular brand. And yeah. then I guess these are by Best Accessory. So maybe this was supposed to be Dollar Tree's like knockoff of these ones. I'm not sure. 
but it looks exactly the same um, and it does smell good it just to me does not really smell like pear it smells more like cucumber melon but it still smells really really good I think that is everything that we had on this Mother's Day Dollar Tree haul thank you so much for staying with us and watching the video if you guys have found any of these in your store or if you've used them let me know about it in the comments down below thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe and we will see you all in the next video